objection. There is no objection. Question number 12, Claire Curran. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister. Why has the New Zealand government taken a different decision to the Australian government with regard to security matters relating to Huawei's involvement in broadband projects? The Honourable Jerry Brownlee on behalf of the Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Prime Minister, uh, as has been the long-standing practice of this House by successive governments, I do not intend to comment on matters of security. Clear current. Supplementary. Has he been briefed on the reasons for the Australian Government's decision to ban Huawei from tendering for national broadband network contracts? And if so, has he taken any action since to instruct relevant ministers to re-examine New Zealand's taxpayer-funded broadband contracts with Huawei? The Honourable Jerry Brown. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Prime Minister, there has been no such instruction. Claire Curran. Supplementary. Can he guarantee the security of the new broadband network in the light of decisions to award Huawei supply deals with the government's partners for the ultra-fast broadband UFB scheme and an equipment deal last year with Chorus? The Honourable Jerry Brown. Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Prime Minister, we take, we take network security very seriously. The government works with all suppliers and operators to address any security concerns and uh, that may be identified, and is committed to working with operators and suppliers to protect the integrity and confidentiality of New Zealand's telecommunication networks. Claire Curran. How many visits to Huawei's Chinese headquarters in Shenzhen have occurred since November 2008 by National Party cabinet ministers? The Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Uh, Mr Speaker, I'm unable to answer that question on behalf of the Prime Minister. And that brings to a close questions for oral, oral answer. Sorry, I call on government order of the day number one. Appropriation 